perfect behaviour in your school. But basically, if you scare them too much, they'll leave anyway, and you don't care if they leave, because that'll leave your school much nicer, because the kids who were scared have left and gone somewhere else. And I don't like it. And, and so I'd like to just start with this, um, this slide. And um, this is something that appeared in tests last, um, last year. I don't know if anybody saw it, but I'll just give you like a, you know, a few seconds just to read what it says, and that's only, only the headline. Please feel free to go and Google that, by the way, because you'll be able to read the full article. So if you want to read the full article, um, it is essentially really harsh punishment for the silver bullet for behaviour policy. That's what it says. <coughs> now, I've got nothing against this guy, I don't know him. I know who he is. Um, but, you know, if he's going to go in the, t in the test and, um, and talk about it, then as far as I'm concerned, it's fair game for me to have him on a slide. So it's not, it's, I'm not being intrusive. It was out there and it was real. Now, um, what he does, he's, he believes that in his schools, which are fairly local to here, um, in his schools, what you do is you just do really, really harsh punishments and that will do, give you fast-track school improvement. Done. And it's primary and secondary, by the way. It's not just, it's not just secondary school. About the same sort of time, two weeks apart, I think they were, this also appeared in, in the national press, and, and this was in The Guardian. You probably recognise that. that but, um, but this was a slightly different approach. And what I did was just talked about um, being kind, being kind to kids. Now, strangely enough, what happened was, when I put that, that went into The Guardian, I got quite hammered for that. People wrote blogs about me. How, how they could be asked to write blogs about me, I do not know. But they did. They wrote blogs about me. And they wrote blogs about the fact that I must be some sort of pushover because I'm kind to kids. I'm, I'm a pushover because I allow kids, obviously, to run amok around my schools because I don't punish them. Which is just bonkers, absolutely bonkers. Because last year, both of my schools that you see on there, both of the Springwell schools in Barnsley, were both inspected and we got, we got outstanding for behaviour in both of them. So, even Austin think it's alright. But we didn't dish them out loads of punishments and the kids were happy and they well behaved. But how come people think that if you're kind, kind means that the kids are taking the mickey out of you, basically? And um, one of the things that, that, that I talk about in that article, and, and this was fo they focused on this in one of the blogs, was there was a girl who used to come to school, and, um, and we do meet and greet, and you can see that on photographs every morning. We say hello to the kids, we're kind to them from the second they come in in the morning. But also what we do, it says our temperature gauge. When you talk to a, ch a child when they come into school in the morning, you can just tell. You can tell whether or not they need a little bit of extra, or they need to come, somebody to come and swoop them up and take them away and be kind to them somewhere else on their own. And so we test the temperature every morning with the kids. And, um, and one of the girls who she, she's been with us from a horrific background, an absolutely horrific background, and um, quite clearly, she just she's so anxious about her life, and she just doesn't let people in. She does not let people in. And what she used to do was she used to come to school every single morning and she used to walk up the drive and she used to walk into school and we'd say, morning, Steph, and she'd go, fuck off. <laughs> and she did that every day. And you know why? She wasn't just being rude. She just didn't want to let us in. She was scared that we, one day we might reject her, so she wasn't going to let us in. So what we decided to do was not let that happen. And we decided that we'd do that until she let us in. After about a year, she changed that to, mm -hmm. morning, Steph, mm -hmm. After about eight, another 18 months, it was morning step, morning sir. To the point where she was happy. Then she, then she then got some GCSEs and went to college. So she did all right, step. Horrendous background. And I think it's really important that we think about that and we think about what, what we mean because I'm going to show you a photograph and I want you just to think about what that, what that looks like to you. 